Hello, this is Fitchburg Mayor Lisa Wong here to talk to you about public safety in the city of Fitchburg. We have made significant strides in public safety over the last three and a half years of my administration. It is one of the top priorities. We have made sure that we are doing more with all the resources that we have and we think of every innovative and creative way to make sure that the public is safe. A big part of our success really has to do with you and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more. In my first two years in office, we had significant decreases in crime, including those most serious crimes. And that is due to the great work of the Fitchburg Police Department, but also every other department in the city of Fitchburg. One of the most innovative things that we have done is to make sure that everyone knows that every single department is responsible for public safety and not just the police department. With less resources, given the downturn in the economy, we've had to do more with less and we've gotten very creative. With the assistance of some grants, we've been able to restore and, re and retain positions, but we've also been able to invest in new initiatives. One exciting initiative is something called NICE, that is Neighborhood Improvement Through Code Enforcement. NICE is an initiative where, again, all city departments realize that they have a responsibility in public safety. The police department does a great job patrolling the streets, making arrests, and making sure that residents are and feel safe. However, that is not the only issues that the citizens of Fitchburg face each and every day. There are a lot of nuisances. There's trash, there's abandoned vehicles, there's a lot of noise complaints, there's animal control issues. Our neighborhood improvement through code enforcement really focuses on where the Board of Health, the Building Department, the Fire Department, the DPW, the Mayor's Office, even Parks and Recreation, everyone has a stake in public safety to make sure that buildings itself never get to the shape where they become nuisances in the neighborhood or have residents in there that are causing harm to a neighborhood. I have been in many, many neighborhood meetings over the past three and a half years, and we've seen an increase of neighbors getting to know their neighbors and organizing themselves from having summer barbecues um, to having neighborhood meetings in schools or in their homes. These are incredibly important. And through these means, I've been able to talk more about our NICE initiatives and also about the new rules, regulations, the new technology we've invested in, and also the new staff we've been able to hire in all of our public safety departments. But now I'm giving the opportunity to bring my message straight to you so that you in your living room or wherever you're watching this can know that we are working very hard on public safety initiatives 24-7. To find out more about the initiatives, I urge you to go to my website, www.votelisawong.com. You can see the progress we've made in lowering crime. You can see what kind of neighborhood associations in your neighborhoods are being formed, or you can find out more about forming a neighborhood association in your own area. Most importantly, because you are our most important eyes and ears in the community, we ask you to help give us information. Make sure you call us if you see anything, whether it's a a noise complaint or it's a trash complaint, abandoned cars. Our NICE team has really been doing a great job getting lots of cars off the street that shouldn't be there, getting lots of trash picked up, holding landlords accountable, um, taking people to court, passing new ordinances, um, and making people feel safe. So thank you very much for listening and I hope to see you very soon at a neighborhood meeting and I hope that you continue to communicate with the city and with your neighbors.